So now we can load uh, the web pages into Python, especially uh, actually the source code. And also we can inspect those uh, HTML structures by using the inspect tools uh, from the web browser. And we can use beautiful soup to parse the specific part of the Python code we want. So how can we uh, extract those attributes that we're interested? So because we are no longer, we are not interested in the source code. We are interested in the visible part that those web pages displayed to human beings, so not to the browsers. Uh, so that's why that the tag.txt is a very great function that can retain the visible part of the tag. Uh, so for example, when we find out this DRV tag, which has a class of DRV style, and if we print DRV.txt, it will retain all the visible part. Okay, so it will retain all the visible part. And also sometimes if we want to get the attribute, so for example, the URL and all the ID, we can also use the get function. So the syntax is that find out the tag first, and so tag dot get in the parentheses we call the attribute name and it will return attribute value. So it's like the dictionary dictionary in Python that uh, dictionary dot get function. So here we know that we find out DRV tag uh, whose ID equals this one. And if we want to get ID of the, the value of that ID, we can just see DRV dot get ID. Okay. Or similarly, you can also use tag square bracket attribute name. Uh, so for example, here we find out the tag, and also we see tag square bracket, and also attribute name, and it will return the value of that attribute. So let's see one example here. So here we can see we find out this DRV tag, and we can see the visible part will be this one, and also this one, and also this one, and also this one. Okay, so let's see dot t e x t and we write so now we can see we have those uh, nice visible part uh, so however however if we just want the the headings so remember that you can just call the h2 tag dot h2 so that will be the second level of the headings and once you find that one, you can see dot txt. Okay, so this will only show the, the visible part of this H2 tag. And that is similarly uh, uh, for the other uh, visible parts. So for example, we, we also have, let's see, um, this li tag. So let's see if we want to see dot li. So it will return the first li, and also if you see dot txt, we will have the visible part of this txt. And also, if we want to get the attribute of those DRV tag, so let's say this DRV tag has id attribute and also has a class attribute. So if you want to get the value of this id, so you can use either get id. So it will return the value of the ID, or you can use square bracket ID, so like a dictionary. Okay, so that will return the value of the ID. This is very useful, especially when you want to get the H, uh, URL uh, from your website. A nested structure. So as we learned from the HTML from last week, we know that HTML is a nested structure. So that means if you want to access the child tag, you can use uh, the, the parent tag dot child tag. Okay. However, sometimes it is very hard to find out uh, all the child tag directly. So in that case, you will need a loop okay and sometimes you may need a nested loop so for example in our previous example so we said that um, this drv tag has several child tags so it has first li tag 
second li tag and also third li tag has three li tags so if we want uh, access all the li tags we can see dot li it will only return the first one okay so for the h2 tag there's only one h2 tag so you can use this way however if you have multiple items in this case li tags you will need a loop so let's say and sometimes it might be a nasty loop. So first, you need to find out the DRV tag that contain this LI tag. So DRV, we are super find out. We know the DRV tag contain this LI tag is the one that class is called DRV style. And within that DRV tag, we can see DRV dot find all LI tags, and we can print each LI tag. So sometimes you may need a nested loop to handle the nested structure in the HTML code. Okay, so let's see the example here. So here we see we find out this DRV tag um, that by using this for loop, so for DRV in this sub find out this DRV style and we find out this DRV tag. And this DRV tag has H1 tag, OL tag, and also three LI tag. So if you're just looking for the H2 tag, sorry, H2 tag, and that is fine because there's only one H2 tag. But what if there are multiple tags, in this case, LI tag, and if you just run it, and no matter how many times you run it, it only returns the first LI tag. So that is where you need a nested loop. Okay, so you will say, okay, you can use this DRV, you can see, for the li tag in drv dot find all and in this case it will be an li tag and you can just simply print all the li tags okay uh for drv find out all li tag uh i need uh indentation Okay, so now we can access all the LI tags. And if you want to vis access the visible part, and you can do that. Okay, so now we can have all the list, all the content within that list. Okay, so that is use a nested loop to handle nested structure. Okay, so let's do some exercise very quick. So uh, without, so let's say first, so on, on my web page, I have instructor, which is my name. So how can you find out my name and just print out my name? So can you do that? Okay. Um, so here we can see this is a part that is re related to my name. So we can see that it, it actually belongs to this P tag. And also you can see within this P tag, we have instructor colon and also my name so can you just print out my name only so you can pause your video here and try it on your own and later on um, you can see the result okay so that is here is my solution so uh, i'm going to try to find out all the p tags within this html code with find all and also I'll say that, okay, if instructor is in that P tag, okay, I see if instructor is in that P tag, I will print that visible part of that P tag. And since I only want my name, so I will use split, split based on colon, and I will get a second item. So remember that list start from index from zero and also one. So the second item, the index is one. So that will retain my name. Uh, so let's try it um, uh, in Python. So for all the p tag in soup dot find all p tag. Let's say we print all the p. Okay, so we have two p tags, and if we want the content part so now we have those instructors and we if we add one more so if we if 
the instructor is in that string. Okay. So now let's print p tag. So by doing this, it will fill out the second one. Okay. And however, as I said, I just want my name. So here we can use a split. And we can split by colon. Okay, so we have two items, instructor and also my name. And uh, I just want the second one. So index number one. Okay, so here we get my name. Uh, let's look at the second exercise. So here I am asking that to find out the URL of this website. So remember that the URL should be this one. That is not the visible part. So that should be this HTTP colon slash slash some etc. So how can you find out the URL of that website? So pause the video here and try it on your own. Okay, so now let's see my solution. So first, I also need to find out all the p tag. And you can see that this URL actually belong to this a tag, which is a child tag of this p tag. So here I'm going to use a nested loop. So I find out all the p tag. For each p tag, I see if you have an a tag. And if you do have an a tag, I want the value of this a tag is attribute, so href attribute. So the value of this href attribute will be the URL that I'm looking for. Okay, so let's try that in Python. Say so for all the p tag in soup dot find all piece. If we print all the p tag, we can see this p tag has the a tag. Okay, and next we use another nasty loop. So. Uh, for all the a tag in that p tag, okay, and I want get that a tag. So in this case, only this one will be returned. Okay, so this is a tag, and next I want get the value of this a tag's attribute href. So here I can just simply call the href uh, um, attribute name and now I get this URL so the value of this URL 